tonight on the keyboard. We got Sister Colleen over here on the alto. <laughs> and without you, it would just be another night. But we're glad you're coming in here and singing with us tonight. How much fun is this going to be? Philip, can you hear back there? I can hear. I got my little earphones in. You got your earplugs yeah. in? Yeah. And the keyboard sounds yeah, good. Sounds good. Come on in here, Bernie. I see Bernie's watching, and Linda Anderson, and Janine, somebody, and Julie Brown, Jessica Briggs, Martha Lynn. Come on in. 1,533 of you are watching. And if you happen to be on the YouTube, would you please subscribe? Make sure you're subscribed and then ring the bell so you'll be notified every time we go live. You're a school teacher, aren't you? Yeah, well. Is notificated a word? I don't think so. But shouldn't it be? <laughs> sounds like a good word. It does. Sound it, does. I mean, sounds very notificated, like past tense. Yeah, uh -huh. you were notificated. Mm -hmm. You were notified works right. too. But right. <laughs> you could always have two words for the same meaning. Uh-huh. But anyway. <laughs> So what happened to you tonight? You were supposed to, we were going to go live earlier in the day, but she had a flat. Well, actually. No, we, here's we, what happens. Tell you us. know, like when the weather gets cold, sometimes your tires, mm -hmm. you get a pressure thing on the tire. So I was in my garage, started my car up and that little pressure sign was on. And I, I just get really nervous about that because Philip had just told us last night about his tire incident. Yeah. Last Monday, right, wasn't blowout, it? Yeah. yeah, he had a blowout, and I was like, oh, Lord. So driving over here, I, was, I, I thought, okay, I can make it, but nah, I want to check it out. So I pulled into the tire shop, and they the guy came out, and he said, there's a screw. There is a screw in your tire, and he said it can't be repaired. It, it's not one they could just take out and, you mm -hmm. know, fill it, yeah. what, whatever they do. They can't trace it back to me, can they? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, they had to replace my tire, put on a new tire. They did. Yeah. And well, you probably needed it. Yeah. I've had those on since 2017. They're Michelins, and so they're good tires. Mm -hmm. But And, and we're every, not even sponsored by them. No, we're not. But uh, the guy, little guy said, you want to replace them or play, replace two? And I was like, well, I'm thinking about selling my car. I, You know, I don't want to. I don't want to put a whole new set of tires on right now. I mean, they were all, everything was good except that one. What kind of car do you want? Maybe one like yours, a Highlander, another Pilot. Anybody out there got a Highlander you want to get rid of or a Pilot? <laughs> Colleen's looking. Well, I heard it's not a good Someone time. said on there, said, why didn't y'all go help her? Because I don't know how to change a flat. What use am I? <laughs> well, I tried and my wrench wouldn't work. Your oh what? Lord. My thing, my thing wouldn't work on the uh, lug nut. Oh really? Mm -mm. The wrong size. Mm. And, and it can't. Mm -hmm. Your lug nut came with the car. Yep. And it was the wrong size. Wrong size. Oh crazy. my. Crazy. Anyway. Well. Got them changed. Just I told the guy. I said I'm I'm supposed to be somewhere at five. <laughs> well, I pulled in at like twenty till five, and I said, "Is there any way you can how how quickly?" And he it was a great little kid that helped me and. Had well, got cool. it done in like tw it was like 20 25 minutes that they had it fixed and i got some new windshield wipers so i'm ready to go <laughs> <laughs> somebody said triple a i have triple a and i would have had to call them if it would have happened on the uh -huh. side of the road or something so thank you deborah adams she likes my plaid red shirt mm -hmm. you should see the one i was gonna wear go get it show them. <laughs> <laughs> I had this shirt on. Go save get it, it real for, fast. Hold save on, go. it for Easter. Well, I just because I thought I looked fine. This is another one of those shirts that I bought off the internet, yeah. probably made in China, <laughs> and uh, but they're colorful. And evidently, I must be colorblind because I uh, I really like colorful things. And here, and so I had this shirt on <clears throat> that you're about to see, <laughs> and it looks like another one of those retro 1950. Uh, Shirts, isn't that cool? Yeah. What is it? Look at the back. Look at the back. See, very, very retro. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I just thought it looked Easter. See, I don't care. I was trying to get technical stuff done. As long as I'm covered and in my right mind, or even that's questionable. <laughs> as long as I'm covered, you know, at 63, you don't need to be showing nothing. You know what Doug Oldham told my mother 
this just popped in my head. It ticked mama <laughs> off, too. But now that they're both gone, I'll let y'all know. Doug Oldham told my mother, walked up and said, after 60, a woman shouldn't show her arms on stage. Oh, mama was so offended. Oh. I think it's because, you know, that stuff that hangs, that, you know, that I used to play with on grandma's arm during church, that skin that grows mm -hmm. after years of cooking uh, chicken <laughs> and dumplings. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Boy, I love chicken and dumplings. Oh. It's flab. It's flab. flab. What? It's mm. excess skin. Well, yes. Grandma oh. had it. Nanny had it. I, I made a pillow out of it oh, in gosh. church. <laughs> That's what I did with it. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Uh -huh. Hello, Roberta, uh, Kelly, and Heidi, and Pat, and Cullen. Hello. Come on in. Listening from DeRitter, Louisiana. Look at there. Fontaine. Hey, I Fontaine. See. You know DeRitter, right? Uh -huh. Louisiana, yeah. 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 I think my grandmother came from that area on the Lowry side, I think. I've yeah. heard. I think I've heard that. I don't know. What do I know? That's the reason I wish my grandparents had known had had YouTube back in the day because my papa would have been on it. You know, and I tell everybody, if you're watching and you're a grandparent, wouldn't it be cool if you could sit down at YouTube and watch your great, 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 great grandparents talk about life in 2022 and what you thought about the Lord and life and how to live it, whatever. And if you get your YouTube channel, you can leave that for your grandkids. They can always find it. Anyway, I'm on a soapbox about that. Isn't that a great idea? It is though? a good it idea. Is, yeah. that, that I would love that. I do have some, we do have tapes of my grandmother preaching. You do? Oh, yeah. We still have some. Like, I want to hear them. Yeah. I'd like to hear that. Yes. Was she a good preacher? Yes, she was. Yeah, she was. She's a very good well, preacher. Well, she must not been theologically correct because women are not allowed to preach, according to Paul. Well. And in the Independent Baptist Church, we had no women preachers because Paul said women should remain silent in the church. Mm, well, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad she wasn't, aren't you? Yes. She even had a radio program. Yes, she did. What was it mm -hmm. called? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I, I just remember her. And she it. wrote some gospel mm -hmm. songs. Yes. So y'all sang in your she, denomination. She made a uh, she made CDs and uh, not CDs. It was um, cassettes. Cassettes. Yeah. Cass eight tracks. Cassettes. Maybe, cassettes. Yeah. It was cassettes. All right, what are we going to sing tonight? Let's get over to the song section, and let's look at it. And we'll be taking, if y'all have a request, just put it in the comments. If we can do it, we'll do it. You know, we're not professionals. We don't have to rehearse. Problem is, we're not professionals. We should have rehearsed. But we did last we did. night a little bit. Yeah, yeah did a little bit. Just not long enough. I was tired. It's never good to try to rehearse after a good meal. <laughs> True. Yeah. Okay, let's do this one. Mm -hmm. What key is that in? D flat. D flat. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that it? What are we doing? What is it? My, my heavenly home. That's not in D flat, is it? What song are you thinking? Oh, I was what? thinking without him. But... Oh, let's do without him then. Where is it? Hold on. Here it is. Here it is. Y'all, we got a few songs picked out. And a lot of them are slow, so sorry. And this is one of them. You know, sometimes people complain about the songs being too slow. Without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I'd surely fail. Without him, I would be drifting like a ship. Without a sail, sing everybody, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today? Please don't turn. My Jesus, 
without him I'd be enslaved without him life would be worthless but with Jesus thank God I'm saved sing Jesus Alan Lefebvre wrote that pretty song. That's a beautiful oh, that's song. A he, he's another one-hit wonder. He's like me. I think Elvis <laughs> recorded that, didn't he? I, he may have. Yeah, I think it's on the record. Mylon may have written other great songs, but there's none greater than that one. Lefebvre? I've heard that. Mylon Lefebvre, oh yeah. <clears throat> he's part of the Lefebvre, Lefebvre. clan, but he, he went off and had a contemporary Christian Experience. career. Experience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do we want to do now, Phil? Oh. How about with, can we do Feel Like Traveling On now? Yes. Hold on. Let's make sure I have to get rid of Oh, yeah. Play, play a verse in the chorus, fill it. Sit up straight. Well, my heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. No pain nor death can enter there. I feel like traveling on. Yes, I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling. It's glittering towers, the sun outshines, I feel like traveling on. That heavenly mansion will be mine, I feel like traveling on. At home, sit up straight, I feel like traveling on. I feel like traveling on. Did you ever get to hear them? The, yeah, yes, of course. You did when they were like in their prime uh -huh. back in the 70s? Back in those days. Did you go to the Battle of Songs? Wait, you lived in where? Where'd you live? Port when Natchez. You were... Port Natchez. I grew up in Port Natchez. Did they ever come out that way? I don't mm. know if they did or not. Philip? Probably it, Beaumont. Yeah, probably maybe. Beaumont area. Yeah, yeah. Well, you lived out that um, way too. Huh? Yeah. We used to go here. The Imperials, that was probably one of my first ones. And then 
um, who else? Uh, Rambo's. Rambo's. Uh, Goodman's. Who was the Black Blackwell Black Blackwood Brothers? Blackwood, but it was the Blackwood and, singers. Black no, was, oh. it was a duet. Oh, the one that sings. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh. Jesus, you're so one. Uh, Sherwood. Oh, Sher- Andrus. Yeah, Andrus yeah, Blackwood yeah. and Company. Company. Uh, yeah. Andrus Blackwood and Company. Yeah. yeah. I remember them. That, they were more contemporary, though. I'm, I'm talking about in the 70s. Like what, in 1971, I think it was when I first heard the singing Rambos, and my life was changed forever because <laughs> I heard harmony. I, I heard what it was like to blend. I heard family harmony. And I, we had that in my family, me and my mom, but we didn't know it because, you know, but the Rambos, all three of them just swirling and pulling against oh, the rhythm, yeah. remember? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, never, I don't think I ever saw them in concert. The You're ra- kidding. The well, Rambos. they used to come to Port Arthur a Maybe lot I because did. one of their record albums is at front of the Port Arthur Church. Huh. Huh. Mm-hmm. And I would too. love to uh-huh. go back. Someone said the 60s. I would love to go back to the 60s and get to hear those groups when Vestal had her hair piled up like cow patties on top of each other with a hairnet pulled down. And remember that? Uh, Y'all Lord, go yes. to YouTube and, and look at the videos of Vestal in the 70s when she had the hair high and listen to her sing. Woo. All right, let's do uh, Had It Not Been. Young too? Young yeah. too. Yeah. Just suppose God searched through heaven and couldn't find one willing to be the supreme sacrifice that was needed. That would buy eternal life for you and me Had it not been for a place called Mount Calvary Had it not been for the old
a straight tone. <laughs> and good thing about Colleen, all she can do is sing straight tones. I, have, I don't have vibrato. She has no vibrato. Isn't that great? <laughs> just, so I'm just, the only one. You have vibrato. I prefer without it, though. Yeah. Do you have vibrato? Well, I mean, I have to think about it to do it. You do? I know mm-hmm. I do, too, if I do. Uh, yeah. uh, don't uh, think uh, about it. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, uh. Don't give me that vibrato. Uh, uh. Sound like a sound like one of them trucks trying to start. Uh, uh, uh. You can almost jump rope through it. We don't want that kind of vibrato. But if you're singing that way at home, you bless yourself and you sing it and you jump rope through every hoop you got out there. Because uh, the Lord don't care. No. You know, it's a joyful heart. And uh, you can sing pitiful and it's music to his ears because you're singing about him. Isn't that a great song? That is. Were you to, going back to the chorus? I thought you were doing yeah, it. Had it not been for a place called Mount Calvary. Sing it home, y'all. Had it not been for the old rugged cross. Had it not been for a like us we can hold them can't we well we're blending pretty good tonight i think it sounds good in here of course i got earwax in here i was looking at this today and there's earwax in there i thought now how'd that happen mark oh, i'm sorry y'all i'm sure you don't have earwax do you uh, well, we're perfect. you don't have an international show either <laughs> i shouldn't have talked about that i'm sorry everybody grab your decaf iced tea take two here we go. These wonderful mugs. Oh, I love this. I love singing about Jesus, don't y'all? I do too. Wouldn't you yes. rather be doing this than be in the best hospital in Houston? Mm. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yes, That's Lord. the truth. I'd rather be here. I'm loving this. I love singing about him. I go live just whenever I feel like it. That's why if you're watching on Facebook, please share, 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 and make sure you hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I go live. And I think on Facebook, someone read, I read in the comments today, all you got to do is hit follow. Is that right? If that's not correct, y'all correct me. To make sure you are notified on Facebook, you got to come to my main page, which has 1.1 million followers. There's a lot of fakes out there. If they don't have 1.1 million followers, it ain't me. And don't believe it is, even though they've stolen all my pictures and make it look like it's me. There's scammers out there. So uh, on Facebook, if you'll share it, that helps us uh, broaden. Because there's other people out there who want to be singing these old songs. And we want them to know we're doing this. And we're bringing it right into their homes. It don't cost them nothing. Um, You know, it's fun. And did I tell y'all the Mary Did You Know shirts are back in stock? I just saw that down there looking at me. Q wanted me to let y'all know that we ran out of them for a while. But the Mary Did You Know shirts, the short sleeve, and guess what? We got some 4X. We have 40 4X shirts. Many of you have asked for that. Well, bless your heart. We got you covered now. You can go and order a 4X shirt. I told you to save me one. That'd be something good to sleep in, you know? And you know what? The, they're really comfortable. The material is yeah. light. They're not a heavy cotton, so. Yeah. I hate, nice we hate soft. heavy cotton. Mm-hmm. Okay. What else are we going to do, Philip? Colleen's hit. <gasps> oh, yes. Hold on. I oh, just... little Colleen's going to come around the microphone now and sing her hit. <laughs> 1946, when this came out, Colleen made it a hit. And <laughs> you know, I remember when I was listening to the radio as just a little boy, I saw, Mama, who's that on the radio? Well, that's little Colleen. It was 1946. Okay, hold on. Well, let me find it. What's it called again? I want to know, know, know more. Oh, yeah, y'all. We haven't done this in a while. Because, you know, we can't sing her head every time we go live. No, no. We got to make y'all wait and beg. 
Here we go. And let's dedicate this to little Bubba McNeely out there. Here we go. Turn it around. Remember when it started? <laughs> <laughs> While traveling through this world of sorrow, I'm on my way to glory land. I'll not turn back for some tomorrow. My trials there, I'll understand. I want to know more. I want to know more about my Jesus. Yes, I do. I want to know more. I want to know more about my Lord, my blessed Lord. I want to know more. I want to know more about that man. Somehow, someday, somehow, and after I read after I read that heavenly city, heavenly city, I need to know more. Yes, I want to know more than, than I, know I know now. now. Yes, I know now. He promised when. Hold on, y'all. Wait a second. Where is it? Hold on, y'all. Blessed Savior, Lord, through His blood, He set me free. Though rough the road, I shall not waver. For some glad day, His face I'll see. I want to know more. I want to know more about my Jesus. Yes, I do. I want to know more. I want to know more about my Lord, my blessed Lord. I want to know. when his soul ascended I'm coming back the Lord did say if on his promise you depended on wings of love your sorrow Sing it home, I want to know more I want to know more about my Jesus yes, I, I want to know I want to know more about my Three verses. Three verses, yeah. yes. I was just. I thought might as well sing them. all three of them. We don't let Joan hear that often. Uh -oh. <laughs> I know. How I want to know more about that homeland. I'm looking forward to my vibrato getting wide like that. Sometimes it does. Sometimes when I'm tired, I can see it. Really? I've not really noticed that. Not really. Much of I a vibrato. What's next? Y'all don't, y'all want to see, oh, we already did ever, that one, right? Had it not been, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Died by my empty graves. Oh, that's a good one we're going to do later. What do y'all want to do? What are y'all talking about there on the comments, everybody? Hey, come on in. Uh, Mary Prescott, good evening. See y'all. You have a beautiful alto voice. Uh, 
Cecil Barber says, what a friend we have in Jesus for the beauty of the earth. This is my father's world. Oh, they, they requested a whole bunch of them. I will know more than I know now. Mm. Yes, we will, Deborah Adams. Isn't that the truth? Mm. We'll know more. Colleen, what else you got to say tonight? What you got to say for yourself? Well, let's see. Oh, you know what? What? I wanted to, to mention, if anybody is in, comes to Houston, Yeah. we went to see that... Um, the space thing. What was it called? Infin inf Infin infinite. Infinite. Something. Ex the other. infinite experience. Yeah. Because you know you love that space. You love. I it. love it. Well, you put on these goggles, mm -hmm. and uh, you and you walk a... around like that, and it's like you're in outer space. I think I mentioned it the other night. You did. You become deal. an avatar. Remember, yeah. you come. You look like an avatar in there, and yeah. You go and you just, oh, it's God. like you are in, um, like we see the shuttle, the, we see the astronauts, oh, like yeah. right there. It, it's a, it was an amazing experience. It was. I think, I think you need to see if somebody can guide you through it a little bit, because I think we missed some things. You know, we, some circles that you were supposed to. Y'all just have to go see it. Yeah, it's, you, it's hard to explain, it but I'm telling you, it is mind-boggling. It is. And what is it called again? The Infinite... Something Experience. Or other. If it comes to your hometown, look it up. I think it's only here. Hello, Ruth Lawrence. Oh, they want Jesus laughing. Why not? I have. I know. You know what? I never sing it because it's not an old hymn, even though I sing it in concert sometimes. But because you asked for it, I will uh, see if I have it. Let me see here. Over here. Let me see here. Hmm. Here it is. I got to get Kevin to make me a track. Thank you for asking. I'm kidding. I, I love that you love that song. But uh, I got to get a track where it's lower because it's too much work to sing it sitting down. Nice. Huh? I said, that's good harmony, too. Uh -huh. Were y'all singing? I was. Oh, you were? Uh -huh. I was just kind of oh, singing a little bit. I hear him laughing. What key is that? <laughs> I should have had you play it. Just victory won and me and Jesus laughing. All right, we got a request tonight here on KFMK Radiant Radio 98 on your FM dial. Sit in the sand, soak in the sun, bring it to you. Mark Lowry here with Colleen and Philip. You know, I always wanted to be a DJ. Did you know that? Well. Did you know when I was 13, I had my own radio show? I did not. but I On KFMK that. Radiant Radio 98 mm -hmm. on your FM dial with Hardy Brundage. He ran the station. Mm -hmm. And do you remember that, Philip? No. And they, it, and they played all the Southern Gospel stuff. Well, my dad paid. What city? Houston. Really? Right here. Mm -hmm. So my dad paid, I don't know what it cost, for, so I could have a 30-minute radio show on KFMK and I'd go in there and play nothing but Rambo and Goodman records. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was very creative. Uh, let's Did you see. talk about it before you play? Oh, it? yeah. I, man, I was DJing. They had the albums mm -hmm. and the whole thing. You know, those big LP playing mm -hmm. machines. And I'd, had, that was the singing Rambos right there on KFMK Radio. <laughs> it's called Mark Lowry's Teen Time. I uh. promise. <laughs> With my hand up, I was only thirteen. Did you talk like it? No, 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 no. Like I, I talk like this. <laughs> Is there a recording of that? Somewhere? I don't know. Oh, that would be fun to that hear. Wouldn't that be fun uh, to hear? Yes. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, someone suggested. What did I see go by here a minute ago? Oh, mansion over the hilltop. You know that, don't you, Philip? Oh yeah, people love that song. That about her. Let me get to the song page. The hillside in that bright land where never grow old. Oh, no. And I'm someday yonder, we will never more wander, but walk on streets that are pure as gold. Oh, bring it down a little bit too high for me. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below a little silver and a little gold but 
But in that city where the ransomed will shine. Are you singing, Philip? I want a gold one, that silver lined. I've got a mansion just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never grow. And someday yonder we'll never more. Touched me. Here you go. Someone wants he touched me. I got that right here. Hold on, Philip. You play along. I have a little guitar. Sing it home now. Come on. Somebody requested, I saw go by. Oh, you touched me. So good to see you back with Mark, Colleen. Beautiful harmony. It's Philip, too, now, Deborah. It's a trio here. We got that third part. And I can tell when it's not there. So are you trying to sneak out? Were you trying to snuck, or were you Man. thinking about your keyboard? Well, and I, I said, Philip, I don't hear you. And then I heard that part come in. I don't know what I was I felt doing. like Bill Gaither there for a minute. Oh, Philip, boy. Philip. <laughs> when Bill... Calls your name up there, you know you're in trouble. Uh -oh. Mark. I've heard it so many nights. 
Have you? But you know what? Bill knew I was a musical illiterate, so he was very easy on me, and I'm so grateful. But those studio singers, David Phelps, Michael English, Guy Penrod, I've never seen him be rough on West, but buddy, if they didn't hit their money, I learned what a minor third was. Do you know what a minor third is, Philip? Minor third. A minor third. This is major. Okay. This We're is busy. minor. Okay. Sometimes Bill would want the tenor to hit a minor third for some reason. And I remember him looking at David, and David didn't get it a few times in a row. And Buddy, Bill Gaither, you know. The only reason he didn't get madder because he's of that, he could lose his salvation. You know, he's Nazarene. Oh. So he's got to be careful. If he'd been Baptist, he'd have really chewed him out. Because, you know, we once saved, always saved for us. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> sometimes I pretend nobody's even watching. Can you believe this? How many of y'all are watching? That's funny. 2,153 <laughs> watching while I make a fool of myself. Uh, but seriously, I mean, Bill's wanted that minor third, and thank God he never got as mad at me as he did at all the rest of them, because he knew I well, was that's kind of a hard note to hit. It's a dissonant. Is it a dissonant note? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, uh, and it's fun if you get it right. You know, oh, but yeah. I also remember back in the day whenever and anybody hit a wrong note, I knew it was me. Didn't matter. Even Bill Gaither was singing, and you know how many wrong notes he can hit. But <laughs> I would always, my head would spin around. Michael English used to laugh about it because he'd say, I know whenever there was a wrong note, I would see in the corner of my eye, you look like that lady in The Exorcist. <laughs> Your head spins around trying to find out who hit that wrong note because I thought I did it. And uh, and it took me a while to learn. Bill Gaither taught me this too. He said, "Mark, we can fix a bad note. We can't fix a bad look. Like your face on video, how mm -hmm. you look. Mm -hmm. If you're not involved, if you're not paying attention, we can't fix that. Right? We can fix it. Go back and fix a bad note. So I started singing even worse. I started hitting all the wrong notes I could because I knew he could fix and it. And just smiling." Uh, just smiling away. <laughs> well, he touched me. Oh. <laughs> just acting like that was the right thing yeah, to do. Yeah, just pretending it was the right thing to do. No, I did, never did that, Lord. For, I, was, I respected uh, Bill Gaither too much. Mm. You know, I mean, I play a lot of jokes, but not when it comes to the music. Because I'm telling you, his ear is like a dog. Mm -hmm. He hears every note, and uh, you better be on your part. You know, mm. so that's why I quit because I don't want to work that hard. Uh, no, that didn't why I quit. I was with them 13 years, and that's a long time for me to do anything. All right, what else are we going to do? Well, you're still part of it. Oh, yeah, I'll be at the family fest. I'm on the Christmas tour with them. I told him I'll do that Christmas tour as long as he wants me because he's 85. How many more can he do? You know, <laughs> and I don't want to miss a one. As long as he's doing them, I want to be there. Y'all, have neither. you had a good time with us tonight? We sure have enjoyed you, all 2,214 of you watching on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Isn't that amazing? What a day we live in. I was talking, who was I talking to today about that? About what a great day to be this age. What a great day to be alive, number one. But no matter what age you are, I'm 63. I wouldn't be 33 again for nothing. Of course, I will be in heaven because we're going to all be like Jesus, 33 and Jewish. Oh, yeah. But I wouldn't be 30. I wouldn't go back and do it again, you know. But I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad we can go live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We can sing together. We don't have to go back and tune it. We don't have to go back and fix it because we ain't going to, even if we all hit a wrong note, who cares? It's just us. It's the family of God getting together across the world on the Internet. What a great day to be alive. Okay. I got to take my heart pill. <laughs> take a sip. What can we sing? Well, we had, what was the one that we had last time? And we forgot to sing it, Philip. Mm. Had it not been was the one. Was we it? Forgot. Had it yeah. not been? Okay. Yeah. I remember we that. did it, right? And then we didn't do We've Lighthouse. been going 49 minutes in it. Oh, we didn't do the Lighthouse. A lot that. of people have we requested the Lighthouse. Either. Oh, oh we'll we didn't that. just over in the glory land. Let's sing that one. That's a good one. 
Turn it around, Philip. if you don't end on a high note. And the southern gospel song has got to end with a big ending. Especially one like, what's the other one we were going to do? The Lighthouse. All right, let me find that one. Oh, thank Oh, here it is. Boom. And then boom. And then boom. And there's a lighthouse. On a hillside that overlooks life's sea. When I'm tossed, it sends out a light that I might see 
and the light that shines in darkness now will safely lead us all if it wasn't for the lighthouse my ship would sail Every no 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 up a half step would that be a half step? Yeah. Uh, there would be no more. Everybody that's just stayed there lives around us. I love this verse. Just tear that lighthouse down. The big ships don't sail this way anymore. There's no use in it standing round. Oh, but then my mind goes back to that stormy night when just in time, oh Lord, I saw the light. And it was the light from that old lighthouse. When I was a kid, I did concerts with the Goodmans, actually. And at one time, I remember as a little kid standing at the side of the stage. I was singing that night, but the Goodmans had just sung The Lighthouse. Vestal came off the stage, and she had, that's when she had the big hair. And she was worshiping the Lord in a corner by herself. She thought no one could see her. She was so overwhelmed by that song and what the Spirit had done, and I could hear her speaking in tongues, just speaking in tongues, <laughs> and worshiping in tongues, and I had no idea what she's saying, but I knew she wasn't talking to me anyway. <laughs> yes. And uh, oh my yeah. Lord, I will never forget what that. I thank God for the light. Now think about this. I. Let's see what you're saying. I love 
your comments. I love going back and reading them. And I, you know, Colleen reads every one of them, don't you? Well, Colleen, admit it. I'm on patrol. She you will know. call me and say, "Do you know what such and such said?" And I said, "Well, I don't really care." <laughs> Uh, well, you know, you put me on there to, to look for scammers and such. No, and when we you, do, we do, do, we do block the scammers, mm -hmm. y'all. I want to tell you, y'all need to help me. When you yeah. see someone trying to scam somebody, make sure you, you say, you say this is a scammer and point an error at them. If I make a comment, I've got a blue check by my name. That means it's really me. If they don't have a blue check by their name, and more importantly, if they don't have 1.1 million followers, that's the best way to find out if they're fake, okay? But anyway, so I love reading the comments. Uh, Linda Kuchia, Kuchia, how do you think that's pronounced, Miss Fourth Kuchia? Grade School Teacher? Kuchia. Kuchia. Hi, Linda. Kuchia? Her eyes are watering. I hope you were singing along with us. That's why we do that. We love this. That's why I do go live nearly every day. Right here on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Because I love singing these songs. <laughs> Somebody just said, where are we going to eat? Oh, I know where eat? we're going. We're going to Who's Cooking, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's I'm Cooking? H-U apostrophe S Cooking. That's where we're headed. In Houston, Texas. So meet us there. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, God bless you. Uh, so what should we should we play out some things like what uh, what's an up tempo something rather Philip lead us what a friend what has it got? what a friend what, what a, a friend we have in Jesus, Jesus? Uh -huh. that's an up tempo what a friend we have